Francisco. Gets through a double team. Quick hand off Harris. Firing, it's good. Kyle Harris, the Buffalo native. Uh, from December, we were, well, it was kind of a struggle at the beginning because everybody was unhealthy. You know, we had COVID. A couple times people got injured. But once we got everybody back after the, um, I want to say after the Mercy Hurts game where we were still struggling, but we had everybody back. I think that's kind of where the turning point is. We finally got to some league play, got a few wins, and kept it going. But once everybody got healthy, that's when stuff started falling into place for us. I think trust was a big thing. You know, last year we we got trust in each other at the at the end of last year, even though it wasn't a really full season. But I think trust from last year is carrying over for this year. And like now, just just like with the starting five we played last year, our trust is so are so, so good with each other. Even with people who didn't play last year. We trust everybody on the team. I think that's the big thing of why we've been successful as well, too, is trust. Oh, it's amazing. He's probably one of the best coaches I ever played with. He just he puts so much confidence in me and just with everybody on the team. He's so he just makes sure everybody is on like on, on the tip of their toes every time. It's just good. I just love him. Even off the court, you know, if you need something, you just call him. He always look out for you, even if it's just not basketball. That's what I like about him. Honestly, it's it's a, it's a funny story. So I played with Breon when I was real little, so I kind of knew who he was. I played against him in high school, and um, I texted him. Well, I knew Coach Matt because I'm a die, so I kind of knew his name, and I know he transferred here, and this was the only Division II school around here. So it was funny because I was at Duval one day playing pickup with Cisco, and um, that's when I first met him. He was and I were just talking to each other, and he seemed like a pretty good guy to play with. And I told him that I knew Coach Mack, and I had a text message in my phone about Coach Mack seeing if, like what's the scholarships looking like? Is it a, like possibly I can walk on and try and play for you? And he, Cisco said, "Man, right away he just asked Coach. He told Coach Mack about me, so that's kind of a big reason what led me here. Oh, it's so it's so much energy you can feel it even before just coming out here warming up. You can just feel the energy and just seeing the people walk in like while you're warming up, just ready to watch us play. And then when we score, the crowd is just crazy. It's fun playing here. It's such a small gym, so it really gets loud. So that's what really gets us going." It doesn't matter where you play at. I mean, just take the best opportunity you can. Just don't take it for granted because it's, it's limited. Like people say on the team, like, still more games. But when you, like me, as a super, a super senior, your time is coming down real short. So each game just got to play like it's your last. And don't take it for granted. Just like I said, for any school, it doesn't matter where your education at. Like for me, I've been here all my life. Still the same education. I still get to travel the world for basketball. So it doesn't matter where you land, just how you perform when you get there.